Let's go ahead and build upon counting to 120 using our abacus, conceptual understanding with tens and ones, one, ten, one, one, ten, two, one, ten, three, one, ten, four, one, ten, five. We want our students counting, 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 and counting using place value as well. One, ten, one, one, ten, two, one, ten, three, one, ten, four. Now they're not always going to be counting like this, but this helps with with this really sticky section for students until they get those number names down. Plus, it's also helping with place value, which is very important. So for this very quick warm-up activity, we are going to have students be talking in tens and ones and reading the number names. So here we have four, ten, three. We can go back to our abacus and we can do one, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four, ten. Four, ten, three, let's keep counting. Four, ten, three, count on. Four, ten, four, four, ten, five, four, ten, six. You can do it here now. Four, ten, three, four, ten, four, four, ten, five, four, ten, six. Now let's count using the names. 43, 44, 45, 46. It's really important that students continue counting, counting, counting in many different ways. Our goal is for them to be fluent and fluid with their understanding. Here we have, and I would ask the students, what is this number? Students will say 91. Yes. What else can we call this? In tens and ones. Nine, ten, one. Excellent. How can we show nine, ten, one on the abacus? One, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four, ten. And I would count like this with the students. Five, six, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, one. So here we have nine, ten, one, nine, ten, two, nine, ten, three, nine, ten, four. Again together, nine, ten, one, nine, ten, two, nine, ten, three, nine, ten, four. Now let's count it with its name, 91, 92, 93, 94. All of these different ways are helping students make all these different pathways to being able to thoroughly understanding counting to 120, reading and writing number names to 120, okay? Another way to do this, to make sure that we get to that 120, is to have three cards. Mm, now this one went over 120. That is okay because at this point, students are really understanding what this means. So we have one, 100, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 124, 125, 126, 127. And I would get into that really rhythmic pattern because we want students understanding that they have, they can see the pattern of 100. 24, 125, 126, 127, okay? So, some ways to read and write numbers to 120 in a very quick review with students.